Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we... Well, what did we do? I forget, honestly. Okay, we finished up all the Trick Houses house, all the remaining Trick Houses. Um, and we also, uh, got rebelled them from a Mossy City that Steven Stone left for us. That's pretty cool. Now, this is the finale, so I'm gonna show you guys how to, um, build a secret base, how to get furniture and stuff, and how to put it in your secret base. So, uh, first off, um, we're in Fortress City right here, so I think we can go somewhere where they sell furniture and stuff. So hopefully I'm right on that, because I'm pretty sure off of memory that they do sell stuff for your secret bases here. It's just you have to find the right house or something. Um, no, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Fortress City is so great, I know. <laughs> Maybe it's this upcoming house right here to the right. Cause I know one of these sells for- okay, I think this is it. Um, how I said you buy? Uh, you can't, um, once you- you can't sell, resell the items you get, f uh, from, uh, this place. I think maybe you can sell it at Pokemon, I'm not even sure. But, uh, yeah. Um, well, I can go crazy here. Uh, let's see, we got a small desk, a Pokemon desk, heavy desk, regular desk, comfort desk, brick desk, camp desk, hard desk, and yeah, okay, um, hard desk is 9,000 Poké dollars, so, though. Um, I think I'll buy the Pokemon desk, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, cool, it's sent to PC. Okay, so, I got a desk now, I guess. And <laughs> that rhymed. Okay, so we got small chair, Pokemon chair, heavy chair. Okay, so they're basically the same thing as this other than chairs. So to match my Pokemon desk, I guess I'll buy the Pokemon chair. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to test my theory here real quick. Um, uh, hold on, let me check if the um, other houses have sell, um, sell any items for your secret bases. Um, there's also one guy who, who has a Wingle. He'll send it to uh, a city we've already been to. Yeah, there it might go by for Pokemon. The Wingle goes bye bye. Hey, I asked my Wingle to run errand for me. And I think if you go back and forth between what city the Wingle goes to, I think it's like um, their friends. It's a boy and a girl, I think, that communicate with um, sending their Pokemon like mail and stuff or something. Which would be cool. Uh, yeah, closer together. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna. This is a finale. I don't feel like reading a dialogue. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the thing you have there? Oh, it's called a Pokedex? That's really awesome. Okay. Speaking of Pokedex, did I remember something? I met this trainer, Steven, who was searching for a rare stone. Steven Stone? <laughs> hey, oh boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrify extremes. I think I missed out that, honestly. He might even be stronger than the gym waiter in this town. Oh, he is. He's the former champion, Elite Four champion, but I'm the Elite Four champion now. Hee hee hee. I like how in Sun and Moon, though, you can actually, like, uh, defend your title as Pokemon League Champion, and, like, prior games before that, uh, when you entered the Elite Four, you'd have to battle the Champion over and over and over, apparently, and it's weird because you couldn't even defend your title, but I guess in the prior Pokemon games that, like, they made it so, like, it's kind of where you have to keep on battling the ch Champion, you know? But in Sun and Moon, and I'm pretty sure in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they made it, like, you can defend your title as Pokemon League Champion. So that's pretty cool. My people Pokemon, the hidden powers are amazed, living in natural environments. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, Rand, okay, I think you can get, if you choose, um, the correct one, I think three times, uh, she'll give you the TM for ancient power. Or, not ancient power, but, uh, hidden power. Left. Not too bad, you guessed wrong, okay. Dang it, okay. Right then. Yes, correct. Um, left. Nope, okay, fine. I have to do the trial and error here because I don't remember it actually. Right. Right. And left, right, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, right, right, left is how I do it. We get TM10, which is hidden power. Yeah, cool. Yeah, nice. Okay. One more house to check real quick. Um. I want a Pikachu. Do you have one? I trade it for my Skitty. I don't have a Pikachu. I guess this is the only way you can Skitty. Because earlier, the um, route west or uh, north of um, I think it's north 
east of um, Rustboro City. It's like a five percent, I think one to five, one percent to five percent chance you run into a skitty. So if you don't, if you have any trouble with that, you can just catch a Pikachu in the fire zone, and I'll trade you uh, uh, your, your Pikachu for his skitty. And I guess talk to that guy. <laughs> okay, so next stop I want to make is um, I want to go to Lily Cove City. I think yeah. And after Lycoff City, we're going to come back here and hopefully make a secret base uh, in Fortress City. Again, I'm not sure if I want to make a secret base where I said I would, like, um, where next to where you have to surf, but it's, um, west of, um, Fortress City. I might go looking around. I kind of want a big secret base, to be honest, and a cool looking one, because I'm very picky. <laughs> in this case, at least. Um, I think it's up to, like, the top floor, really. I could be totally wrong, they might not just sell any items or something for secret bases, but I could be wrong. I could be right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, um... Got a Pichu cushion, a round cushion, a zigzag cushion, a spin cushion, a diamond cushion, a ball cushion, a grass cushion, a fire cushion. And apparently this could be placed on your desk, that's pretty cool, a mat or your desk. Water cushion, and that's it. Um... Well, grass, I like the grass cushion because I love grass type Pokemon. My favorite grass type of all time, my favorite type of Pokemon of all time, grass type Pokemon. I think I might go for the grass cushion. Okay, yeah. Okay, so bye. We got Pichu doll, Pikachu doll, Mer Mer doll. Uh, so let me try that again. We got Pichu doll, we got Pikachu doll, we got Meryl doll, we got Jigglypuff doll, we got Duskull doll, we got Wynut doll, we got Baltoy doll, we got Kekuyan doll, Azuril doll, um, Skitty doll, Swabu doll, Gulpin doll, and that's about it. Okay, cool. Now all three of thousand Pokemon dollars. Um, uh, Pikachu doll would be pretty cool. Meryl doll, I'll buy that. I'll buy a Jigglypuff doll. I'm gonna go crazy here. I'm not gonna buy all of them, honestly. You gotta buy a Jacob of Doll Nice. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's the finale. I'm not gonna use my money on really anything else. So, go big or go home, right? <laughs> Just have our variety my secret base. Okay, there we go, nice. Okay, and let's see, let's buy more stuff. Got a ball poster, green poster, red poster, blue poster, cute poster, Pikachu poster, a long poster, C poster, uh, sky poster, and yeah, cool. Ranging from a thousand dollars, a thousand poker dollars to fifteen hundred poker dollars, nice. So, uh, green's my favorite color, so I'll buy a green poster, honestly. Um. Long poster sounds cool. And I'll buy, um, Sea and Sky poster too, why not? I'm just going crazy here. Okay, what do you sell it here? A, a Surf Mat, a Thunder Mat, a Fire Blast Mat, a Powder Snow Mat, a Track Mat, Fisher Mat, um, Spike Mat, Spikes Mat, Glitter Mat, and Jump Mat, and Spin Mat. Cool. Ranging from two thousand poker dollars to four thousand. Um, let's buy a thunder mat. That sounds pretty cool. Fire boss mat. That's so cool too. Fizzy mat sounds really cool too. Spikes mat. Why not? Jump mat and spin mat. I'll buy one of those too. Yeah. I think we're good. We have a lot of items that were sent to our PC. So let's start making our secret base now, actually. That'd be pretty fun. So yeah, polka dollars. We have like... S oh, I want to pick one now. Dang it. Okay, let's go to Steven, of course. Okay. We have still... We still have 70,637 polka dollars. And I could get more money by just rematching the late floor a lot of times using the Amulet coin. But, uh... This is the finale anyway, so... I just wanted to spend a lot of my money on secret base stuff. So... We'll go, but we're gonna build a secret base now. I'm gonna might go looking around. Okay, of course if um if uh I don't like the one that I'm gonna go to right now. So yeah, I, I, one's with me. He has secret power. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. 
Let's go to Fortress City then. Scar Marie. Okay, let's get this thing done. Well, maybe we get it on the first try. So I'm gonna put a pill on. I only have four pills, right? Or maybe I have eight or seven actually, because I only used one on a when I was catching Wadios, and I, I started with eight. So I should have seven. Yeah, I do have seven. Cool. Nice. So, uh, let's see here. It's down here somewhere. There's just several ways to get to build in that bush, but I want to build that tree. It looks like pretty cool. So let's use secret power on this thing. I can't use secret power on this tree here. It looks like you can... What the heck? That's a bummer. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, you can. Awesome, cool. I was about to say, like, how can you not use secret power on this thing? On this tree? Vines drop down. Want to be curious? Sure, why not? Just out of curiosity. And then it builds the, <laughs> the PC that comes up there. Um. What the heck? It's blocked off with these... What the heck? They give you moves to get races while you have stuff in them. The put items are just sent to the PC. Or maybe you have to manually put all the items in the PC before you can move secret races. I forget, honestly. But like, it's block. It's like this. You can't even. This is a small secret base. I'm probably not gonna build it here, honestly. If it's that small. Jeez, I'm being very picky, you know? What's uh. Let's see if we can build a secret base over here. To get in the front of it, apparently. Let's see, base, yeah. All directions adventure in your PC will be returned to your PC. Okay, so that's so that's automatically cool. You don't have to manually put it all in the PC again. If we can complete, we'll check the secret power. Yes, we could. Why don't you use secret power? Awesome. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. What the heck? Why is there like a. Why is there like a blockage or something over there? You know, some, a, a hole. I don't like the secret base either. I'm being very picky here, but still. Okay, find a little bit. We'll look for somewhere else. I thought this would be a cool place to build the secret base, but I guess not. So, would be a cool place to build a secret base. Hmm. Maybe check your way in Flower Town in the mountains. Cause that looks, that would be a cool place to build a secret base. So we have to, we have to do quite some running, but that's okay. Power factor off, okay. Ooh, wait, 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 we can build a secret base over there, right? I'm gonna knock power power, I'm being a rebel. Dang it! Okay, so I kinda skipped through the end translation, end transition right there for the battle, but that's okay. I was being cocky and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be a rebel, that's what I get for being a rebel, you know, even what Pokemon. It's okay, fine. Yes, I would love to use secret power. Here, make one use secret power. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. You know, maybe this is the one. It's, uh, not that big, but I can make do with it, probably. It's no block, it's like not blocked off to anything, so it looks cool and not, like, weird. So, uh, Let's uh, start decorating, actually. This is probably the winner. I could look around for more secret bases, but I'm pretty content with this one, honestly. Decoration, I guess. Decorate. So we got uh, 14 out of 40 dolls. We got one cushion out of 10. We got four posters out of 10. We got four, six mats out of 30. We got one ornament out of 30. We got zero plants out of 10. We got one chair out of 10 and one desk out of 10. So let's uh, start with putting the desk out. Pokemon desk, yeah. It's like you can move your character around like I'm I'm in the walls right here. That's crazy. We I'm off in the abyss right now or something like that, you know? Okay, so where do I want to put my desk? I put it right here. Can't be placed here. Okay, that makes sense. Um We I'm making my player go around. Okay, um I think I'll put it right here, honestly. Place it yes. Okay, there was a little Pokeball when you add it to cool and nice. Just to make sure you had, just to make sure, right, that you had it. 
Okay, yeah, nice. We see a plants ornament, red tent. Oh yeah, we have a red tent. Dang, that's big, wow. Um I think I wanna put it like right here. So it's basically straightforward where I have you to do all this stuff. Um you can put it like right here. Yeah, nice. Mat. Uh, let's do it with the jump mat. I'm just gonna put a. I can always edit it later, but I'm pretty much going to um, put it wherever. It might, it might not look really pretty, but oh well. Thunder mat. Oh my gosh, that's so big. Jeez. I might not be able to fit everything. Yeah, man, I don't, I can't fit this because like it overlaps right here. That's a bummer. You cancel decoration. Is the fissure mat the same? Like, yeah. Man, these are big mats. Spikes mats, the same thing. Yeah, okay, I can't even put them in my deck. Oh, whatever, okay, whatever. Poster. I think you can put these on the wall. Green poster. Um, we can put that right here, I guess. Long poster. You can put that like right as you walk in and stuff, like right here. Like, when you just kind of see it when you walk in, I guess you could say. C poster. We can put that like right here. Can't be placed here. Okay, whatever. Yeah, put that right there. And sky poster. We can uh, put that right here, I guess. I'm just putting it right now for decoration, I guess. Picture doll. Put it right here. How can it not be placed right here? That's stupid. Fine, we'll put picture doll. Oh, it can it only be placed on a desk or something? Oh, on a mat, I think. It can only be placed on a mat. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, it's Thunder Mat goes right there. Pikachu doll. Same, uh. Yeah, nice. Okay, Meryl doll. Can it only be placed on a certain mat, though? No, but okay, it's not. Okay, cool. Jigglypuff doll. Can be placed here, of course. Trico doll. Not all, not all of these will fit, though. That kind of stinks. Can't be placed here, dang it. I can only be placed on the mat that's very picky. I can't be placed on the court like that. It doesn't even fit on the mat, apparently. That stinks. So I have all these other dolls and I can't even put them there. Jeez. Cushions. We got one grass cushion. For like right here, I guess. Can't be placed here, of course. Can only be placed on a desk or something. Nope, of course not. Wait, well, let me read the description actually. A grass mat cushion placed it on a mat or a desk. Well, the Pokemon desk is right here, you dummy. But apparently, it's not big enough or something. So I can't even put it there. Okay, whatever. Now, do I want to do any, um. Do I want to do any modif modifications or changes to my secret base? Can I go in the tent? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I can be in the tent, yay. Nice. I'm camping, guys. In Call of Duty Black Ops, I'm camping. Okay, um... You know, this looks pretty good. Except for the posters, like, all close together. I may want to change that. Let me just see if I can do that. Um... Decorate. Decorate. Poster. Okay, I think I have to actually put away them first. Okay, that's the good, nice. Let's decorate again. Let's go with the poster. Green poster. Um, we'll put this, uh, I guess right here. Yeah, there we go, nice. C poster. We'll put, um,. I guess right here. And sky poster. We'll put uh, right here. Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. So I'm pretty content with my secret base here. I wish I could put more mats and dolls and uh, uh, stuff on in my secret base, but that's okay. The mats are pretty big, apparently. I forgot how big they are, actually. They take up a lot of space. But uh, this is my secret base. Oh, I can jump mat. Nice. Makes this jump. Make this, this one makes this spin because it's a spin mat. 
Uh, hey guys, I'm doing my homework at this desk. Ha ha ha. At this Pokemon desk. And here's a Pikachu doll. In the middle is a Pikachu doll. Here's a Chica doll. A Chica Puff doll and a Meryl doll at the very top right here. So that's pretty cool. Can't even look at the posters apparently. It's just for decoration. <laughs> oh well. And that can go in the tent. That's pretty cool. So I think if I exit here and come back in, all my stuff will still be here. So that's awesome. So this is a pretty cool secret base location, I guess. It's, I'm happy with it, you know. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys can build a secret base if you want and have fun with it too. There's like several options. Throughout my playthrough of this game, for this project, I pointed out that there's so many places you can build a secret base. Like there's so much variety, which is pretty cool. And I think that's what I like about Ruby Sapphire Animals. You can build a secret base. It turns out really cool if you uh, have the money to... Uh, to buy stuff for it, and I'm pretty happy with one of my looks, uh, so I'm happy with that, you know. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm sad they can't like put a doll right here where I'm standing, or a doll right here where I'm standing, but that's okay. Or right here, or up in the corner, on t uh, north of uh, the Jigglypuff doll, and uh, west of uh, where the Meryl doll is, but that's okay. We can jump again, we can spin. That's pretty cool. I forget what this uh, green thing does here. I don't know what it is, but it's just there. You can't place anything on there, apparently. But uh, I'm happy with how my secret base looks. The red tent looks really cool. Uh, again, I got that from the Trick Master um, as the final item he gave me as my reward for completing the last Trick House, I believe. So it's awesome. Yeah. So with that said, uh, thank you everyone who watched my Pokemon Ruby redo walk the guide as for hunt for my next project we'll say um let's see here uh i will say i'll give you two hunts um actually uh the first hunt is that it's going to be a playstation one game and that's going to be a platformer so so you guys can guess what it is but uh Hopefully it comes out tomorrow or the next day, depending on if I can get the schedule and the other, the, um, the first part scheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, but if not, um, I'll let you guys know, um, when I'll schedule it. Um, but other than that, I'm happy with this playthrough. Uh, it's a good, I really like this playthrough. Um, as a, I get, I go through Pokemon Ruby again, it was a lot of fun. And, uh. Hope to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get it scheduled as like I said before, in the next, uh, part one of my next, uh, project. So, yeah. So, this has been Giant Cole again. I would like to thank you goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next video.